Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, more hints also on Windows 12. And uh, these come from different developers and um, some uh, Twitter users that are quite close to Microsoft, uh, like DeskModder and, and others on um, uh, Albacore and so on, that often have these little tweaks and, and info. So. We talk about minimum requirements in Windows 12. The biggest thing that I think everybody else, everybody's going to watch and wonder is its minimum requirements. I think that's going to be the thing before we see an interface or anything. Is will they be even more tight? Will they, you know, make it more difficult for people to upgrade and have to buy new PCs and what could be? So. We know a few things that might actually be what will be asked for Windows 12. First of all, there was talk about SSD drives. You know, we talked about how um, Microsoft was even thinking that maybe one of the future versions of Windows 11 would make SSD drives mandatory. And it, there's an, an understanding for this because SSD drives are so fast that it clearly changes how the operating system works and how fast everything is done. Today's SSD drives are also quite inexpensive. And, um, you know, I, I get why an SSD drive will be a minimum requirement. And everybody kind of thinks that SSD drives will be the minimum, a minimum requirement for Windows 12. They will also be a minimum requirement because hints are that Windows 12 might actually have the updated REFS um, file system. So they would move on to uh, a new, more advanced file system that has more capability for the future. So, um, you know, same as we moved from FAT to FAT, you know, FAT16 to FAT32 to NTFS and so on, you know, as time goes by and as you know, file systems and files and folders and everything becomes bigger and more complex. You got to find ways to have things, um, you know, adapt to it. So that would be one of the minimum requirements that is possible in Windows 12. Also, uh, SSD prices will apparently continue to fall. So that's a good thing. And that means that, you know, more and more people will be able to afford SSD drives for Windows 12. If your PC has minimum requirements, then you would not have an SSD drive yet. Now, the other thing that is talked about, of course, the minimum requirement for space, disk space, at least 64 gigabytes of disk space would be required. So once again, you would have to have um, a decent uh, minimum drive to have space, the space required um, for the uh, operating system so in my case here i got a one terabyte and and you know this is becoming more and more common that people have at least 256 and 512 ssds and in even more so that would be mandatory we know that tpm 2.0 will be still a minimum requirement for windows 12 and of course i would guess that there's a possibility that the tools we have, like Rufus, that changes that today, uh, that removes these minimum requirements, might still work, and you might still, you know, have a possibility of unsupported Windows 12 installs. The CPU requirements would stay the same, so that means what we have right now that Windows 11 is as a minimum requirement, that would stay in Windows 12, and for Windows 12, that becomes a little more. Um, I'd say, you know, um, natural because Windows 12 will have appeared basically kind of, you know, three years after the release of Windows 11. Three years is a, a long time in technology, and so there's a lot of the PCs that weren't compatible that have been changed in that three years. And Windows 12, if it, you know, gets uh, another two, three years, I mean, that's six years, you know, five years, six years, 
we're getting into the place where a lot of people are going to have changed their PCs, especially with Windows 10 users that also have PCs that might already be four, five, six, seven years that you add that time to it. We're going to get probably better numbers because that minimum requirement, even though still probably could work, is going to be at least um, less of a problem bef to prevent upgrades on Windows 12 than it was on Windows 11 when it got uh, on the market. There would be a uh, 8 gigabyte RAM minimum requirement. On Windows 11, that minimum requirement of memory is 4. And if you have 4, you can install Windows 11, and it works decently on 4. Now, 8 would be the absolute minimum requirement for Windows 12. Now, with PCs sold, there's really not a lot of PCs sold with less than 8 now. So, you know, that I think is going to be fine. And you can always upgrade the RAM. If you have a supported PC, you can always upgrade the RAM. For the two other things, we don't think they will be uh, minimum requirements. One of them is uh, Pluton, um, which is integrated into some of the CPUs, the Ryzen CPUs particularly. Um, there's not going to be enough P you know, PCs out there to warrant the fact that they would add that capability that you know um, feature that capability and the same thing for a neural processing unit um, it might be recommended but probably not a minimum requirement uh, for because we don't think there's going to be enough pcs out there all that next year so kind of the same minimum requirements with windows 11 but with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and an SSD drive would be mandatory. So this is according to some of the signs that we have of what's um, you know being tested and what some are seeing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.